Okay, so here we are on the same beautiful app as before, with the difference being that this time I'm going to demonstrate setting up different constraints for different orientations and types of device on Xcode 13 rather than Xcodes 11 or 12. So we no longer have the very for trace option in Xcode 13. This is how you would set constraints for specific device variations on Xcode 13. The way that we're going to do that is I am going to demonstrate making this image right here, this lemonade image, equal to the frame's width when we are in portrait orientation and then equal to the frame's height when we are in landscape orientation so that it is always possible to appreciate the entire image. Now, the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to go to my main.storyboard. I'm going to find my image, which is right here. It's called lemonade. And I'm going to control drag to the view. I'm going to set equal widths, and then I'm going to control drag again to the view. I'm going to set it to equal heights. I know that's confusing. Don't worry. We're going to get there. So those two constraints were added right down here. And you see that the multipliers are kind of wonky and stuff. We're going to do some things to these constraints. So first, let's click on the lemonade.width one. You'll see it open over here on the right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take that multiplier, and instead of allowing it to be 1.03 or whatever it is, I'm just going to set that to one. Okay. So the next thing that we're going to do is on the bottom of the constraint right here, there's this checkbox called installed. We're going to hit the plus next to it and we're going to set a new variation for this type of device. And that's going to be anything with regular height for now. I don't even care about the width. I'm going to allow for any width as long as it's regular height. I want to set the width of this image to be equal to the width of the frame. Now we can do as many of these as we want for whatever combinations of uh, compact and regular width and height we want. But for now, what we'll do is we'll set two constraints, one for the regular height case and one for the compact height case. So I'm gonna hit add variation. And now we have two checkboxes: the general case of installed and regular height installed. I'm going to uncheck the general case installed. You'll notice that that changed things on our landscape orientation preview device. And the reason for that is that this constraint does not apply to the landscape orientation preview device. Why? Because the landscape orientation preview device has a height of compact and we set this constraint for regular heights. So that's okay because the compact heights constraint is coming. Let's click on the lemonade height constraint that we made earlier. Once again, I'm going to change this multiplier from what it currently is to one. And now I'm going to make a new trait specifically for that. So I'm going to hit the plus button again. This time I'm going to allow any width, but I want specifically compact height. Now the reason to use any width is that you'll recall one of the older iPhone devices in landscape mode has compact width and all of the newer devices have regular width in landscape mode. We want this to work for all of those devices, but the important part to us is that the height is compact. So I'm gonna add the variation here. Once again, I'm gonna uncheck installed right there. Now you'll notice that this time, the images on our regular height devices appear to be fine and haven't disappeared or changed shape or anything like that. The reason for that is that we already have their constraint in place which we did before this one. So I'm gonna hit enter. And so now you're gonna notice that my storyboard is in portrait orientation. And as a result, the lemonade.width constraint here is enabled, it's dark blue. The lemonade.height equals height constraint is disabled and you can tell that because it's a lighter blue. You see how it looks disabled here? Now, if I were to change my storyboard by coming to this rectangle down here with the arrow on it and flipping it into landscape mode. What you're gonna notice is that now the lemonade.height constraint is in dark blue and the width constraint is in light blue. That's because this constraint gets activated when we're in landscape mode and this one gets deactivated. Let's run our simulator to ensure that everything looks the way that we're expecting it to. All right, so here we are in portrait mode. 
and we're able to see the entire height of the image. And if we go to landscape mode, we can again see the entirety of the image. Perfect.